so we just sing. Come on. Gary, would you pray over this man right here? Come on, Jesus. Right you are spotless. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. You are holy. You are fallen. Let him feel a peace like he's never known. You are holy. Let your light radiate from this man, God, in the name of Jesus, Lord. Let him be a, a, a thermostat, God, when he goes into a room, God. Lord, let him set the spiritual atmosphere in that room. Let him be a difference in the life of the Son of God. Lord, we ask you in the name of Jesus. We speak blessings over my brother right now in the name of Jesus. And we speak an anointing over him in Jesus' name. Amen. will come off his eyes. I'm going to pray, Lord, that forgiveness will enter into his heart. I'm going to pray, God, that anger to you will no longer be a thing. But, Lord, that he'll be satisfied with you and not just barely satisfied, but he'll be filled with the joy of the Lord. I speak the joy of Jesus in his life right now, God. God says, I want to give you back the joy that you have had. God says, I want to restore to you the happiness that you have had, that you have lost. I want to bring back to you the days of old and make them days of new. I want to bring back to you things that have been stolen that the enemy has robbed from you. I want to bring back finances. I want to bring back a marriage. I want to bring back restoration. I want to bring back family. I want to bring back an anointing and a call that I have placed upon you that has not been forsaken, that has not been taken away. Oh, hallelujah. God, right now in Jesus name you are restored you are a restorer hallelujah you are bringing back all that is rightfully his to own God you are worthy this morning God you are worthy hallelujah God you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna put back together everything that has fallen apart you are gonna not just glue with glue to hold broken pieces, but you are going to take every piece that's broken and you're going to shatter it beyond repair. And then you're going to mold it in the hands of your glory and you are going to put your anointing oil and you are going to re it and you're going to reshape and reform into something that is mighty, something that is glory, something that could never have been imagined. God says everything has happened to you, son, for a purpose. Everything has happened for a reason. And out of that purpose and out of that reason, I'm going to bring about glory to my name, says God. And I am going to use you. And you're going to be my voice. You're going to be my heart. Oh, hallelujah. You're going to have your own voice. You're not going to use the voice of other preachers. You're not going to use the voice of other men. You're not going to use the voice of your dad. You're going to have your own voice. You're going to have your own way. You're going to have your own style. And you're going to have a love and a tenderness. God says, and I'm going to use you. But first, I'm going to take bitterness out. I'm going to take anger and hurt and heart out. And I'm going to replace it with softness, with kindness and the glory that has been in you since I created you. And I'm going to pull back those days of joy. I'm going to bring it back to you. Hallelujah, Jesus. Holy Spirit, fill him. Fill him totally right now. Fill him totally right now. Let him be, just be, Lord, just engulfed in you. Let him just be totally saturated with you, God, in his heart, in every part of his body. In Jesus' name, Lord, let his mind, Father, God, see new things, hear new things, and be a part of new things. And not rehearsing the old, not re rewinding the tape of the pain and, and all that, Lord, but let everything be new to him today, God, in Jesus' name. Let him walk, God, with strength right now, no matter what he's faced. Let him call his brother and be an encouragement, God, right now. 
Let him reach out and be a lifter. Let him discover his ministry is one of encouraging and helping others through those rough times right now. And Jesus, give him words to speak out of his mouth, God. Let his vocal cords right now be vibrating, God, with utterances, Lord. Praying in the Spirit. Come on. Just open your mouth and pray. Praying in the Spirit. right? Come on. Praying in the Spirit right now. Believe in God. That you're going to do something, God. You're going to use him because you and the gifts are irrevocable. And we believe in God right now. Holy Spirit, fill him. Fill him with your glory. Fill him with your power, God, in Jesus' name. Hallelujah, Jesus. You're worthy, God. You're worthy. Come on. chair with all of my children and with all of my grandchildren and I gave them to the Lord years and years ago and I speak spoke blessings over them and I laid them on your altar God and I, I never doubted God that you're going to bring all of my children and grandchildren and not only them but their loved ones as well and God I speak blessings over my son in the name of Jesus I speak prosperity over him in the name of Jesus. I speak restoration. What the, what the enemy has stolen, what the cat worm has stolen. I speak restoration in the name of Jesus. The word declares it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Restoration I speak in the name of Jesus. Not only restoration of financially, but restoration uh, of family and, and loved ones and in happiness in Jesus' name and anointing in Jesus' name. Cliff, could you come up, Frank and Jimmy? And I'm not putting anybody on the spot, but these are two in our family who've just lost loved ones. And I just want to love on them. And just Come on, we just join together. The Bible says when one in the body of Christ rejoices, and when one is sorrow, the alls are sorrow. Amen. Come on. Come on, let's, let's just gather around them right here. And you don't have to go through it alone. Oh, I know sometimes you feel alone. And that's the pain of death. But Jesus said, after going to the cross and going to the grave and coming out, He says, where, oh, death is your sting. Where, oh, grave is your victory. There is none because resurrection lives because Jesus lives. God is the God of the living. God is the God of those who call upon His name. Father, we pray right now for Frank and Janine and for Sue and Cliff. And Lord, as they have said goodbye to a father and a son. And Lord, we pray that in Thessalonians it says we mourn not like those of the world who mourn, for we serve a God who is a resurrecting God who can raise from the dead. As Martha and Mary said, Oh Jesus, if you'd have been here, our brother Lazarus wouldn't have died. But he said, For your sakes, I am glad that it happened because there is something greater and more eternal and it's the resurrection. God eternal. I thank you for the week that Frank and Janine had with their son. I thank you for the restoration, the rehabilitation, and those bonds that were nurtured and strengthened. I thank you that Sue got to go see her dad on that vacation and got to be up there. And we pray, God, that you will be the comforter of both of these. You will take them in the season of sorrow and grief. And you will be a God of comfort. In fact, Holy Spirit, you are referred to as a paraclete. And that word means you are the comforter. We're not asking for pain to be taken away. We're not asking for no thought to ever go towards the death of their loved ones. Just asking for you to walk them through. I don't believe, God, anybody gets over a death. I think we go through it. And it's part of a process we go through. And I thank you that you go through it with us. And Father God, you know what it's like to lose a loved one. You know what it's like to lose a son. Father, we pray for comfort and just your your jubilee, knowing that they would know that you have their loved ones, and that you are God of all people. Thank you, Jesus. You are Lord of all. Your words are Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Father, love on, love on, love on, and just bless them, God. Bless them, bless them.
the great joy can come out of us and we give you the honor and the praise this morning in jesus name everybody said amen come on you can hang